Hello, today's teacher tip is going to be on a Google add-on that you can add in your Google Docs and it is called Orange Slice Teacher Rubric. First, let me show you how to get this. If you open up a regular Google Doc and you click on the button add-ons, you're going to see I have a whole bunch here. To get this, you're going to want to go down to get add-ons and if you search for Orange Slice this add-on is going to pop up. You have Orange Slice Teacher Rubric and then there's Orange Slice Student Rubric. I'll explain what they both do and what is different about them here in a little bit. As you can see, I have them both. And then you can access your add-ons after you've added them in the add-on drop-down list. You can see I have Orange Slice Teacher Rubric. Okay, this will give me, um, when we're going to go here in a second, the ability to create a customized rubric on a Google Doc that is able to be distributed through a Google Classroom. Once you have um, distributed um, documents, you can get assignments. That would be through here. And of course, this is very important here because this is videos. And these are tutorial videos that are made by the developer of the teacher rubric software. So if you click on his Google Plus page, it's going to take you to his Google Plus profile and you're going to see that there are some videos here and tutorials on how to use all the distinct features. Alright, so let's get started. We're going to add a teacher rubric. Orange slice teacher rubric. We're going to score rubric. This is going to open up a sidebar here that's going to have information and first thing you need to do is you need to create your rubric. You're going to pick your performance level progression. Do you want to go descending or ascending? Um, your performance levels, you can choose A, B, C, D, F, great, good, average, needs more. Um, you can be creative and you can create your own. Let's go with a simple great, good, average. Now this is going to give you categories that you can select and then at the bottom it's going to say I've got this and give you a blank row and it's also going to give you a completion or answers correct box if you would like it. If you pick some general organization, presentation, and like we'll add an I got this one. Now the difference is, is that if you pick general categories with general um, descriptors, you can go in and customize the information that's in each cell. So let's create our rubric. Look at it pop up over here. What is um, really good about this is that you can go in and say you are creating a rubric for a new PBL. You can go in and you can customize your rubric and type anything that you'd like. So once you get all of this filled in, you can come down here and create another um, category. Let's say we want to do a category on information to make sure that the information was correct. Okay, and then you could go in and add any of your descriptors. We'll score the rubric. It's going to pop up here. You can do analysis. You could do holistic. And then you put how many total points yours is worth. So I have, let's see, five before, we're going to put 20 points. Okay, and then I'm going to put finished. Okay, now I can distribute it to Google Classroom. Okay, or you can also use student rubric. You can have peer-to-peer -peer critiques or peer review of each other, and they can turn those rubrics into you for a grade through Google Classroom. Now when it comes time for grading, we're going to process the grade. As you can see, it just simply goes through as you are grading um, a student's paper and you can click what you feel they have scored. Needs more information. Okay, you can also make grade adjustments. So if there's extra credit involved, you can add extra credit. Um, there's a late penalty, but there's also a plagiarized penalty. So if you found that the student is plagiarized, then you can let them know that, that they have plagiarized. 
Here's another thing, advertising and student rubric again. Let's process our grade. And then bam, it has processed the grade for us. It has gone in and done the calculations and they can see, the student can see then what you have graded. Now you can go back in and make adjustments if you need to. So if you click on like ideas and say they redid it and turned it back in and now it's great, then you can go back and you can reprocess the grade and it'll make the changes that you need to make. So this is Orange Slice Teacher Rubric. I suggest te te uh, checking it out and also checking out the Orange Slice Student Rubric and maybe get some peer-to-peer -peer, um, critiquing going on in your classroom. Thank you very much. If you don't mind, if you take a few minutes to fill out the form that's at the bottom of this email, I would really appreciate it. Thanks.